for those who worry that fighting climate change means sacrificing comfort, the luxurious Turinor might be a revelation. The world's biggest solar power vessel, run by Planet Solar from Switzerland, returned to the Mediterranean in May after completing the first ever round-the-world journey fueled only by solar energy. It's time to, to realize it's a lot of pollution everywhere. That boat is a messenger and maybe an alarm. The name Turinor comes from J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings saga and means the power of the sun. And that power is precisely what the 115-foot-long ship is intended to showcase. This summer, it's traveling to cities in the Mediterranean like Valletta, Malta. Each stop attracts a crowd of reporters and government ministers eager to see how it works. There's a massive interest of people looking at the boat, seeing, understanding how it works, and, and really appreciating how something amazing like this can perform with solar power. I'm here on the deck of the Turinor. This vessel is powered solely by the sun. Right here around me, 537 square meters of solar panel feeds down into the two pontoons. Each one has six tons of batteries inside them. They're the world's most efficient solar panels made by the company SunPower, converting about 18% of the energy into electricity. When Captain Eric Dumont pushes the throttle forward, Power is transferred to the two electric motors, which then turn special low-speed propellers. The 91-ton boat can travel for three days on the batteries without getting any charge from the sun. But there is a surprising problem with the power system. It's not complicated to understand. We have too much sun. Because for sure these batteries is full all the time. So we have to, to stop the charge, you know, sometimes. The problem is too much energy on that boat. The surprising thing is that the production of the solars has outperformed what was expected and in fact there's too much generating capacity on the roof. There's so much of it that the batteries aren't even using all that power being produced. The ship is a traveling experiment. Technicians in Switzerland monitor the boat via satellite around the clock. Data from its around the world trip will be used to improve the technology, increasing its speed for example. Right now, it travels at a stately six miles per hour. It might not be fast, but it's very quiet. The Turinor is practically silent as it moves past ancient walls, around the breakwater, and out to the sea. Leaving Valletta Harbor through the gates of the city, built by the Knights of St. John, the ship's captain says it's easy to forget that you're traveling on a state-of-the-art machine. It's my dream to be on the sea. I'll be uh, on the sea since uh, I am two years old. It's nice to be uh, uh, silent on the, on the sea. We can see dolphins, we can see whales, very close every day. So that boat is very really perfect to, to be in harmony. You can think, you can dream. Uh, for me, it's uh, the best job in the world. This is Jeffrey Barbie reporting from Valletta, Malta.